Hey guys, this is Bri with 500 of my favorite books and a stack of Philosopher's Notes. Welcome back to the Optimized Philosopher's Notes Top 3 Books of All Time series. Today we're going to talk about my top three favorite books on prosperity of all time. This was another one of the challenging ones. We have so many different books on the subject. But I went with Spiritual Economics by Eric Butterworth in the number one slot, then The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace D. Waddles in the number two slot, and Wealth Warrior by Steve Chandler. Steve was my coach for a couple of years, super powerful guy. Now, it was tough to, to figure out what would make the top three. Would Think and Grow Rich make it? Make a strong case for that. It's kind of a, a super uber jumbo best-selling classic book there. And then we have a ton of other ones that, that could have made the cut. Deepak Chopra has got a great little book called Creating Affluence. We've got notes on Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Dave Ramsey's amazing. The Total Money Makeover. Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Eker. Relax into Wealth. Great book by Alan Cohen. Money and the Law of Attraction. Robin Sharma recommended me this book by Esther and Jerry Hicks years ago. Will, or James Allen, rather. The Eight Pillars of Prosperity. Legit. Millionaire Fast Lane. It's not about the money. We've got a ton of other notes. But I picked these three, so that's what we're going to go with. I'll talk about why and uh, one of my favorite big ideas from them. But again, as always, you can follow along with this series at optimize.me slash top three. And you can get instant access to, that's a 600 philosopher's notes between those two stacks. Notes on all of these different books at optimize.me as part of our free two-week trial. We've got a lifetime offer of 250 bucks going on right now at optimize.me slash lifetime as well. Now we're ready for our top three books. We've got spiritual economics in the number one slot. Eric Butterworth was Maya Angelou's spiritual teacher. Oprah Winfrey says that another one of his books called Discover the Power Within is one of her all-time favorite books. And I just love Butterworth, former um, unity minister, and um, just a good human being. So here's the deal. He tells us that the goal should not be to make money or acquire things, but to achieve the consciousness through which the substance will flow forth when and as you need it. Think about that. It's not about going after the money per se. It's about having the consciousness through which that money in abundance can flow. And he also makes the very important point. He goes to the etymology of the word prosperity and why I use the word prosperity here and why it's one of our fundamentals. Um, prospering. The word does not mean to have a lot of money. It means to go forward according, with hope. According to hope, right? To go forward with hope. The opposite of prosperity and to prosper is to despair, to not have hope. Without hope is what despair means. So when we are prosperous, we are going forward with hope. So as he says, it is not so much a condition in life as it is an attitude toward life. The truly prosperous person is what psychologist Rollo May calls the fully functioning person. That's a big idea. He also redefines a couple of other terms that are worth talking about briefly. Affluence literally means an abundant flow. Security literally means to be without care. Some big ideas. And he says, why be average? Why be an average person? All the great achievements of history have been made by Strong individuals who refuse to consult, consult statistics were to listen to those who could prove convincingly that what they wanted to do and in fact ultimately did do was completely impossible. But in order to be that type of strong individual, you need to move forward with hope. There's a ton of other ideas in this note. I, I actually went back through and reread these um, notes this morning. Um, it was just blown away by the energy in in all the notes but particularly in these notes so that's the first one eric butterworth amazing human being thank you sir the science of getting rich you've probably heard of this one before it's a little book and wallace d waddles is amazing we've got another note on one of his books called the science of being great or the science of becoming a genius which is awesome as well so he tells us look there's the science of getting rich it's an exact science like algebra arithmetic learn it but first he tells us the logic of why you should get rich. And he says, look, the number one thing you need to do, well, I'll quote him, you can render to God and humanity no greater service than to make the most of yourself. 
It's the ultimate purpose. The sumum bonum is to become the best version of you. Optimize equals optimist equals best equals eudaimon equals hero in service to the world. And then he says, look, and to do that, you need to have money. So you can, I love this. No one can rise to his or her greatest possible height in talent or soul development unless he has plenty of money. For to unfold the soul and to develop talent, he must have many things to use. And he cannot have these things unless he has money to buy them with. And then I talk about the fact that even Gandhi, who didn't have any money, and Mother Teresa, they didn't personally have money, but a lot of money flowed through their organization. So we need to have a healthy relationship to money, which again is why I love spiritual economics, helped me integrate my spirituality and my finances. And then Waddles um, come through on the same plane. Now, my favorite thing from this book is that he says you are to become a creator, not a competitor. You're going to get what you want, but in such a way that when you get it, every other man or woman will have more than he or she has now. You want to be a creator, not a competitor. And this book, again, this note is packed with great um, wisdom. This is super important. You've got to have gratitude for what we have right now to connect to the infinite power. Then he says... We must pass from the competitive to the creative mind. We must form a clear mental picture of the things we want and do with faith and purpose all that can be done each day, doing each separate thing in an efficient manner. Right, so this is similar to what Ryan Holiday would reference in terms of this, the ancient Stoics like Seneca. Euthymia. We're not competing with other people. We're not comparing ourselves to other people. We're striving to create and to become the best version of ourselves today. Then you have... Euthymia, you have tranquility, and you have the prosperity that comes on the other side of that as you, actually, I love that final little point too. You make today a masterpiece essentially, right? He says, every day is either a successful day or a failure, and it is the successful days which get you what you want. If every day is a failure, you can never get rich, while if every day is a success, you cannot fail to get rich. Powerful stuff. How are your days? And then he tells us, act now. There is never any time but now. And there will never be any time but now. If you are ever to begin to make ready for the reception of what you want, you must begin now. And then finally he says, more than fill your current position. Mental um, toughness, peak performance, sports guys say, outperform your contract. Are you? Which actually perfectly leads us to Steve Chandler. So again, Steve and I worked together for a couple of years. And... um, I just love, and I picked this book as number three because his whole thing, Steve's whole thing, is to create wealth via profound service. I wrote that down over here. Wealth via profound service. And he introduced me to the idea of astonish, which basically means to thunder. I like to say to strike with lightning. Boom. He says most people are just trying to, to get by, just do enough. No, 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 no. We need to create abundance in our lives, prosperity in our lives, wealth in our lives via profound service by outperforming our contracts, being the absolute best version of ourselves. And again, he says what we we talk about in every note. You have to have access to your higher self. Higher self? Yeah, the real you. You at your best. You when you surprise yourself. Don't you surprise yourself once in a while? That's the you I'm talking about. That's the real you. The rest is fears and bad memories. He says, you want to make more money? serve more. To understand why you're not making money you want to make, I first want to see where you are not serving. That will give us our turnaround strategy. Businesses fail because they don't serve. Individuals too. And he plays around with the idea of um, being out of service. This is great too. Don't worry when your coach asks you to convert and change your dream into an immediate project. Take your dream. What can you do right now? There's another one. Projects turning pro, making each day your masterpiece. Again, we're reflecting on the same themes again and again and again and again. Then ultimately tells us, reminder to myself, money is a reflection of bold and creative service. So again, my question to you is, are you serving boldly and profoundly? That's what's going to get the job done. Top three, spiritual economics, science of getting rich, which wants to keep on falling down, Wallace D. Waddles, and Wealth Warrior by Steve Chandler. But Think and Grow Rich, if you haven't read the note on this at least, check it out. It really should be called Hustle and Grow Rich. Yeah, you know, it's all about thinking on, on the first level. But Napoleon Hill tells us that it's all about persistence at the end of the day. He says, riches begin with a state of mind, with definiteness of purpose, with little or no hard work. But then 
you put in the hustle, you put in the hard work, and you just do it. There's a lot of goodness in this one, too. Um, again, James Allen is amazing. Um, As a Man Thinketh is, is a fantastic book worth, worth checking out. Secrets of the Millionaire Mind is fun as well. Um, playing to win versus playing to lose. That's actually a scientific principle that we talk about in different contexts. Total Money Makeover, Dave Ramsey, super important. Live below your means. Step number one, right? And then increase your means while figuring out the game you're playing and playing it well. We're going to do some notes on the fire movement as well soon. Um, and then, like I said, Deepak's got a nice, fun book. Um, he's got a fun metaphor of the two goddesses of wealth. Go for the goddess of knowledge and the goddess of wealth will follow. In other words, be the best version of yourself, like we discussed in the very first idea here, and then the money will follow, wherever that went. The goal should not be to make money or acquire things, but to achieve the consciousness through which the substance will flow forth when and as you need it. Now, in addition to all of the notes, what I do is basically take all these books, boil it down into the stack of notes, and then I actually create Optimal Living 101 master classes. The one for this theme on prosperity I called Abundance 101. How to create true wealth in your life by investing wisely in you, Inc., and the best way to become a billionaire. We play with that psychologically. Now, we have a workbook for each of the um, 101 classes. We have 50 of these classes that, again, you can get instant access to at optimize.me as part of that free um, trial where we basically distill the 10 best ideas from those philosopher's notes into a 101 class to help you move from theory to practice to mastery. And then in our Optimize Coach program, we go to the next level, kind of like graduate school training um, on these ideas. That's all I got. Those are my three favorite books of all time, Prosperity Wise and Why, with an idea or three thrown in. Spiritual Economics, Eric Butterworth, The Science of Getting Rich, Wallace D. Waddles, Wealth Warrior, Steve Chandler, Bonus, Think and Grow Rich, and a bunch of other ones. Hope you enjoyed. Again, check out all the top threes at optimize.me slash top three. Get access to all of the philosopher's notes on these books and all of those Optimal Living 101 Master Classes at optimize.me. And if you want to go all in, join us, optimize.me slash coach. That's all I got for today. Make today another awesome day. See you.